Epicurus wrote, Is God willing to prevent evil, but not able? Then he is not omnipotent. Is he able, but not willing? Then he is malevolent. Is he both able and willing? Then whence cometh evil? Is he neither able nor willing? Then why call him God? These thoughts essentially sum up my feelings as an atheist. At one stage in my life I would have defined myself as a Christian, but it's a matter of weighing up the evidence and critical thinking. Where is the evidence that God exists? Why does your Christian God have any more validity than any other deity in the world? If God exists, why is there so much suffering in the world? Science has delivered on its promises and continues to do so. Every day we enjoy the fruits of science, your computer, the electricity that is used to supply the lights in your house, the car you drive and the microwave oven you use to heat up your dinner are all benefits of an inquiring mind of man. Science has saved us from famine. Science has saved our lives and science has brought prosperity that has never been seen in the history of human existence. As someone who is watching this video, probably thousands of miles away from where it was made, you have more power at your fingertips than a medieval king did. Science has given you this and the expectation is that it will give you more in the future. Science is not perfect. It has made mistakes, but so has any human endeavour of man. The important thing is that we learn from it, and science by its very nature means we will. Do you reject science and all it brings? Will you have the courage to reject science and grasp at symbols of your religion when you are lying in your hospital bed clothed to death? Will you place your faith in prayer rather than penicillin? Will you die fighting in a religious war for religious values? Would you deny science the chance to save your sick child from death? Would you kill infidels in the name of an intangible entity? Will you continue to consume resources in a finite world because a 2,000 year old book tells you that you have dominion over all living things? If you accept the Bible as the unshakable word of God, that is your right to do so. The evidence for your decision is however flawed. Maybe it is flawed in culture, family ties, or you are simply a victim of propaganda. To deal with the power of the institute that promotes an infallible doctrine is difficult if you are born into a place where it is considered the norm, but critical thinking will show you there is only one conclusion. There is no God.